testing out a new truck in snow runner and today we're going to be testing out the optimus prime truck okay so there's two of them okay i did not realize that that there's actually two versions so there's just the black version okay i'm gonna test this one out anyways Suspension elevated, kind of cool. Uh, I'll go for those tires. On second thought, I think I might need to use the different tires. Seeing as how this map has other stuff than, you know, what's on here. These aren't the correct tires, but I'll, I'll pick the mud tires anyways. Anonymous. Let's see. Engageable. Alright. So you can paint the doors a different color, all right? Or have no doors at all. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> exhaust. You can take the exhaust off. That's weird. Oh, okay. That is goofy. I'm going to keep the exhaust on, though. Engine, keep that on. Uh, think the saddle low you need. Roof, um, traction visor, I'll keep it like that. No front bumpers. I'll go for those. No paint on this. And a bobblehead, okay. Uh, okay, looks good. Looks good at night time with the lights. Let me tr check something out. Optimus Prime Trailer. Refrigerated. I don't know if that's an option. Oh, I. That looks cool at nighttime. I'll give it that. Let's see, what else can you do on here? Left, right, engine. So you can open the hood, you can open the doors. We're... Oh, what? I did not expect. Oh, okay. So you can actually open it completely up. Close the doors. Left. Alright. I'll give it... This looks actually kind of cool. Um... Trying to close these doors. Okay, there we go. In the hood. Where's the hood at? Oh, engine. Kind of slow, if you ask me. Now, for sake of the test, let's load this with cargo and see how it can do. Oop. Um. That's the wrong button. Nope, no, that's not the... Dang it. There we go. Let's put a heavy load in here. That's sensible. 
Um, look for something heavy. Because a player that downloads this is probably going to do a mission with it. Um, okay, from my past experience, these are heavy. There we go. Cargo slaps. Let's see how this thing can handle. Wait, oh, I did it again. Oh, no, no, close. I'm trying to, ugh. This is actually confusing. Okay, there we go. Got it. Let's see what this thing can do. It actually looks cool. Very faint horn, you can barely hear it. Doing pretty good. Take the turn. over here. I don't know what this is over here. Now, I'm not going to make an attempt to pull a train because I definitely know this thing is not going to pull no train. So let's see. What should I do first over here? I mean, should I try to tame? You know what? I'm going to try to pull a train. Let's see if I can pull it. Fully loaded semi pulling a train. And I can instantly tell the first issue with this truck is the train tracks. Attach wrench. You know, strength. Test this truck's strength. Not exactly good on terms of, you know, power. I'm noticing. Almost instantly. Okay, I can't winch the train, so that test is definitely a, not a negative. Okay, car concrete slabs is actually pretty heavy when you play in Snow Runner. And it's a pretty common load that people use for these trucks. Let's try something different. Since this truck is not able to do the uh Alright, let's try the walks. You know, typical walks in the road. See what the ground clearance is. Well it's struggling, I'll give it I'll give it that. It's having a hard time getting through here. Come on. Shift, you can do it. Come on. There we go. I made it. Took a while, but, but I made it. Maneuverability is not exactly a good thing on this truck. It takes a long time to turn. That's mud. I don't think mud is going to be able to handle mud. Yeah, maneuverability definitely is a negative for this truck. I mean, it looks cool. I'll give it that, but definitely doesn't turn that quickly. Mud, mud test. Oh, she's, she's getting stuck. There we go. It took a second to get some traction. All right, come on, you can do it.
driving through some deep mud or muddy water or whatever it is. I'm trying to make it over there and test the hill climb on here. It's definitely not a fast vehicle. Even loaded with a load on the back, like a typical player in G uh, Snow Winter would have. Definitely is struggling a bit. And there's no snorkel. Nope. Ah, uh, okay. We seem to have an issue here. I might have to go get a rescue wig. Yeah, it's stuck. I'm not getting out of here. Since I'm going to be testing this vehicle in, an, in another video, I should pull it out. Okay, which oh, is this one? Okay, to anyone who wants a good scout vehicle in Snow Runner, this is actually a good option too. I'll go for the ones that look good. These ones. Yeah, these ones definitely. I don't understand winches at all, so I don't know which ones are better. Well cage, fuel tank, fuel tank, and well cage. There we go. You know what? I don't want a logo on here. Rear bumper, front bumper. And of course, I'll leave the pictures of the mods at the end of the video. So in case you guys want to test it out, you can pretty much test them. I love the color black. I don't know why, but I love black on, on trucks. Gray pickup. You know, just for the sake, I'm going to go through the paint jobs to show you guys what it looks like when it, different colors hmm, hot pink hmm. that looks kind of like a fluorescent red you know what I'm just gonna put black on oh oops I think I forgot to turn the cheater mod on. Yeah, I think that's what happened. The mod that I used to, for on this game, I forgot to turn it on. I think that's why it's not showing up. Anyway, let's head and go rescue Optimus Prime. Find out where he's at first. I had a feeling that that truck wasn't going to make it through the deep mud. Ooh, OP engine neck. Ooh. Oops. Yeah, I think I need to change the engine in this too quick. Damn it. Can 
Can I pull? Optimus Prime. Nope. Don't tell me I'm gonna get two vehicles stuck. It's supposed to be a test vehicle for this vehicle and it already failed deep mud. There's a slower engine, but I think I've heard, I'm gonna put that in this as soon as I get this truck out. Come on, dig in. Pour it, come on. Put that OP engine to the work. Oh, it's really stuck. Jesus Christ. Oh, okay, this might be a fail. Yeah, this... This truck might be a fail. Okay, I can't get it out of there. You know, I'm just gonna leave it there and I'll re-customize another one. Since that truck is completely stuck. Anyways, let's head back here. Re-customize another one since that one's not gonna go anywhere anytime soon. I'll do it it later. There we go. Excellent tires. Okay, saddle low. Uh, yeah, that's the uh, head back in here. Go west, do the rest of the test. Testing two vehicles in one video. Huh. Okay, where do you go next? Hmm. I'll head over here. The suspension test. This time I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna load this truck with any load in the back. Since we saw what happened to the first one, it couldn't handle deep water and mud. And the truck was definitely way too heavy for that. OP truck to pull it out. Even without a load, this thing maneuvers very difficult. Oh wait, suspension test. Let's try this out. I'll try this out first. Mud tires versus a path that you normally see in Russia map. The broken road uh, path. I turn the stand thing like daytime again. There we go. Pretty good. As you can see, it, the ground clearance is doing pretty good. Well, kind of good. I would definitely recommend if you're going to use this truck in career mode, definitely use it for like Michigan or like a map that has no snow because I don't think this truck would be good for any uh, any deep snow maps because it definitely would not be able to handle it. Flexibility test? Let's see how much flex this thing has. And I don't have any recovery rigs available. 
Ooh, careful. Max angle. I mean, it looks cool, I'll give it that. It, it's a very cool truck, but definitely has some issues that need to be worked out. Maybe some suspension, maybe a little bit more of a flexible suspension on it, if that's possible. It looks cool, I'll give it that. It's definitely a cool looking truck. Oh, it's, it's getting towards its max that it can handle. I'm struggling to keep this thing on the on the on the board slide it's sliding it's sliding it's sliding oh Jesus Christ that was that was a little bit of a challenge there all right what's next all right the typical bridge that you see in a lot of maps that people have a hard time crossing. Let's see how this thing does on bridges. Pretty good. I turned off the audio drive on accident. My bad. It's pretty good on flex. Ooh. Getting a little sideways there. Oh, this this one is always a challenge. Alright, come on. You can do this truck. Come on. Make it across the bridge. Mm. This is a bit of a challenge. The suspension's actually pretty good. You know, I don't think I need to test any more of these suspension tests because the suspension's pretty good. I could probably move on to the next test. Hang on, let me us at the waypoint for a snow. I'll go do the snow. See how this thing handles. First things first, dirt. The dirt, dirt course. One thing about me when I play snow runner is on my left foot. I like to hit the gas and go very fast when I'm driving. Ooh. Oh, ow. That brought me to a dead stop. Don't know what I hit, but it brought me to a bit dead stop. All right, come on, you can do this. There we go. You know what? Pretty good. Definitely a good truck. I, I mean, I like the look of it. It looks cool, but the performance is not that great. Let's see. Level 1 snow. Let's see how this thing does. And I got mud tires on, so... It should do pretty well. You know what? That's, that's a good test. Let me do something a bit challenging. Let me move to number 3. Skip to a number and then head to number three. Now, 
three is deep snow. It's struggling a bit. Very weak horn. Now I'm gonna probably skip that course over there because this thing I know for one is not gonna have any ground clearance and it's gonna get hung up on that those hills. One, two, three. This is like a mud pit, basically. Yeah, that way over there, that those hills you see, uh, this thing is not going to be making it over that over that at all. I'm 100% certain. All right, level three snow, snow and mud mix. Mm. It's making it. It's slow, but it's making it. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, so close to the end. There we go. So there's 18 gears, okay. Let's just for the, the for the sake of the test, let's try ground clearance on here. I don't have ice tires, so I don't know how this thing is gonna go. Nope. That's as far as it's gonna go. Can't get over the first hill. Nope. Maybe if I had ice tires, it probably would make it over here, but it just doesn't have this, the power or grip to get over that hill. I can't, was this, I gotta try this out? 18 gear. And sharp turn. Ooh. That was kind of fun. Okay, what do we go to next? Um, you know what? Let's head out here. I'll head to the hills. My friend wanted to see what this truck does on the hills. So let's see if it can climb a hill. Let's see. If, take this road down. And right here. This area right here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I gotta learn to slow down a bit when I drive on here. I'm a speed demon when it comes to snow water. So far this truck looks, it has a plus for uh, looks, it looks good. 
but on performance and handling it's definitely a negative it struggles with a couple things so if you plan on doing missions with this I would stick to using it on Michigan map or you know small muddy areas not you know deep snow like in Alaska or Erska River because this thing is not gonna make it it'll just get stuck like that truck over there all right which one should we climb first I think I'll try pavement first <clears throat> change the daytime again all right here we go climb a big hill automatic come on you got this come on come on you got grippy mud tires you can't climb this hill So close. So close. No, 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 no. Don't slide back. Don't slide back. Don't slide back. Okay. Parking brake. Come on. It's on pavement. Come on. Pavement. You should be able to climb this. Dig in, come on, dig in. Put the pedal to the metal. You got this, you got this, you got this, come on, come on, come on, come on. You don't even have a load in the back of the truck, come on. Truck's not even loaded with cargo. No, 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 no. Don't slide back, don't slide back. I'm giving it all I got. I'm putting the pedal to the middle. Oh, it's thawed out. Yeah, it's not gonna make it up this hill. Sorry guys, you saw there, I was giving it all I got. Let me try dirt, maybe see how this thing does on dirt, since pavement seems to be an issue. Alright, dirt it is, come on. You start here at the yellow line and then gun it. Shift up. Shift to high. There we go. That's the key. High gear. Let me try this on pavement again. Instead of using automatic, I'll shift to high gear on pavement. The brakes good? Oh, the brakes are excellent. Going downhill. All right, here we go. Double click the automatic and in high gear. Oh, you gotta be! Oh, come on, seriously! Is pavement a weakness for this truck? All right, let's try this again. I'm gonna make up this, make it up this pavement hill, one way or another. If I gotta put the pedal to the metal, I'll put the pedal to the metal. Uh, 
right. Let's try this neutral drop it. Shift to here. Same it into high gear, and there we go. Nothing says work like a neutral drop. Hell yeah, I made it! Yep. See? Just takes a second to get it to get it moving. Now let's head to the water test. The water test would be the last thing for this truck. Yeah, if you want to know how to do a neutral drop in GT uh, Snow Runner, just put in neutral, then slam it into automatic, double clutch automatic to change gears up quickly, and then slam it into high gear, all within like a couple seconds. That's how you do a neutral drop in Snow Runner. <laughs> the trick that I use a lot. All right, let's try this first. Nope. Nah, don't tell me. Come on, don't flood out. Come on, get out of the water. Oh, please tell me this ain't gonna be. Is there a vehicle nearby that I can use? Nope. Oh, come on. Oh, uh, shit, my vehicle's getting damaged. Alright, uh, yeah. Whoopee. This is gonna be a problem. Why won't you back out or go forward? Do something. Alright, I think that's gonna be the end of the video. My vehicle is not moving at all. Yeah. Water definitely is this truck's weakness. So, if you liked the video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.